full games in a week starting at the Britannia Stadium. What a tough one for United this is. Uh, Stoke today, Palace two days later, um, and I can't actually remember the third team off the top of my head, oops. And uh, ending with Norwich City in the Cup, uh, the FA Cup I believe, uh, at the end. So. Uh, it's going to be a lot of rotating this week for United. Moyes isn't taking any chances though. He knows uh, that Britannia is a tough place to come. Uh, but having said that, it's not full strength for Manchester United, but Moyes is still wanting to make sure. But uh, the cup against Norwich is probably the big one because of course like, it's going to be uh, through or bust. So, I think Moyes has probably got that match in mind more than the others. And then of course the Manchester Derby is next week, so Moyes has got a lot of rotating to do. Uh, but like we said, he's not really taking any chances. He's actually brought on Ryan Tunnicliffe uh, in the middle of the field today. But, it's not the most powerful strike force uh, Moyes has, but he has gone with uh, Lewandowski to back up Molbeck, so it may not look United's strongest, but they do have to kind of make sure they win this game because uh, they're still behind in the league, but I think they've still got a game in hand over Chelsea, so uh, they need to win all the games they can just to keep up and uh, make sure they're running as close to the leaders as they can possibly get. But uh, having said that, of course, Manchester United just want to make sure and they don't want to play their best players at risk of getting injury in a week that is important with a through or bust game against Norwich at the end. Uh, three other games in the space of six days. Uh, starting with this one, Britannia Stadium against Stoke City. Here we go. We all have an early goal to tell you about. Uh, Southampton taking the lead against Fulham at Craven Cottage, so that's a nice early goal for Southampton to, uh, to take care of. Rooney was uh, looking to pick out Lewandowski with that pass. And, uh, this will be close. Ooh! I, I don't know whether the uh, official got that one right, I'm not sure. It, oh, and look at this! Right down the other end from the free kick, and uh, United somehow getting it away. Now they come back, they come straight back again, but uh, United clear it properly this time. I'm not sure, um, I'm not sure the uh, official got that one right there. But, it is their call and the game goes on. And I don't really complain. Just get on with it. That's a nice header. Because I came up with it. It's Lewandowski with a shot already. And United now put their first shot on the board. It's a block though. Here's uh, Tony Cliff getting a shot in the squad today. Like we said, always would rather make sure that his team win this one. Aston Villa take the lead against Cardiff. Here come United now. And a uh, shot there by Valencia. Or well Welbeck, even. No good. Solomon uh, saves it. And if we remember in the reverse Premier League fixture, Thomas Storrison was actually on top four against United and it ended up being nil-nil. Which clears it. This has gone with Virgin Ferdinand today. That's a great pass by Tony Cliff of all people. Lewandowski doing well as well. Comes out to Valencia. He's going to hit it. And, uh, United starting with a flourish. Brilliantly done by Vinich. Brilliantly done by United, Rooney, Sorensen again. Looks like Sorensen's up for this game as well. Rooney, they're going to have it tough here. Rooney. Tunnicliff is dispossessed really well. And Ryan Tunnicliff returning on loan. And uh, will probably be loaned out in the next window. One has to think. Despite the look at the rebuilding process, United's uh, system of young players is some of the most promising up and coming time that the country's probably ever seen. Uh, Aguero, Hikuinez, Tony Cliff, uh, both Keynes as well. 
believe that one of the teams is actually playing in this game. I think it's Josh Dean, I think his name is. That's why beautiful looking cross. And here comes Valencia. And it's hit wide. I think the head of the win was by Stoke initially. We are going to get a replay. Welbeck's actually gone down trying to cover the ball up. And Valencia comes in and just hits it. Completely catches uh, Sorensen unawares, but it went wide. Alan Lucius. Now, if I remember rightly, wasn't he? No, that was Sunday. Goal at the Emirates. Uh, Arsenal have scored against Crystal Palace. It's one all there now. So you might say to the surprise of uh, Crystal Palace, they actually got a goal against Arsenal in the Emirates there. And, uh, the guy I was actually thinking of was actually in the Sunderland first game that United had. And here comes Stoke. Tiny crowd roaring behind them. And it clear. Lewandowski short, precise passing from United, and Rooney gets uh, wrong footed and loses it. Tunnicliffe well in. Well played by Ryan Tunnicliffe there. Just approving his worth. Wheeler. Yeah. That's what Lewandowski doesn't find it. Lewandowski comes up with a lucky bounce from Rudy and Lewandowski shoots. And Sorensen, I think, saved again. Sorensen hasn't conceded against United so far this season and he's keeping up uh, with a brilliant save actually from Lewandowski. It's a fantastic save. Give him credit there. And see with the resulting corner. Tunnicliffe here, and Tunnicliffe kind of had the posture to shoot. It would have been uh, very interesting to see where that would have ended up. There's uh, Walters trying to get back in the other end. I don't think Stoke really threatened the United goal last time out. And to that point, always actually went with Andrews Lindegaard today. Dolski, Fabio is going in front of him. There he is. And uh, of course, the big story concerning uh, Manchester United right now is the soon to be departure of the Magic Village. Oh my goodness me, Wade Rooney! Bicycle kick there. And uh, before we were interrupted by a piece of brilliance. From Wayne Rooney that hit the bar. Uh, yes, the Magic Village is impending to be leaving at the end of the season. And that's something you United really have to deal with because Village has been undoubtedly one of their best defenders. It's another header from United and again Thomas Sorensen denies. And just United just can't find a way past it at the moment. They're getting all the attacking flow, but uh, nothing really doing there. And Fabio throws it away, literally. Well back. And he again. Rooney. And uh, it's uh, gathered up by Sorensen. Uh, Rooney has apparently not yet signed a new contract with the club either. So Moyes with a lot of work to do in the summer window if two of his best players, undoubtedly in Vidic and Rooney, are on the way out. Uh, with all the young talent in the world, It'll be a hard task for any of them to get footholds in the Premier League so soon. And uh, Wilbert Tedder is, once again, thwarted by Sorensen, who is in top form when it comes to playing Manchester United at the moment. He's Edmonton, Stoke picking to move forward in the game themselves. There's Walters. And, uh, Mark Hughes is wondering how Thomas Sorensen gets his... Uh, 
It saves it on traffic. And the Britannia actually. Norwich score against Spurs. Carroll Road, one all. There as well. And here comes Jermaine Pennant for Stoke. And Stoke go forward and score. Well, it's against the run of play. Jermaine Pennant out of nowhere. And I think that might have been Charlie Adam. Let's have a look on the replay. Stoke completely against the run of play. United caught flat footed in defence completely. Uh, Vintage goes too far there. I think Vintage goes too far ahead of where he's supposed to be. It's slotted home by, uh, I'm not even sure who that is. Yes, it was Charlie Adam. So Charlie Adam scores for Stoke City against the run of play. It's a great low cross from Penn to begin with. What a way to get your first goal of the season against Manchester United. And Britannia Stadium has gone crazy. Stoke 1, Manchester United 0. Uh, United were having all the great chances at the beginning of the game, first half hour, but Stoke have to say it is against the run of play, but it is a goal, and they want, that is what counts. And Stoke won't mind whether it's against the run of play or not, it was them that scored it, so they won't care one bit. So Jermaine Payne was called offside. Fabio could be another one departing as well. Archer Blackback, Cardiff City, all interested. Nagoski is tackled. I'm always wanted to make sure, but the defensive switch up wasn't bad. Mark Bertra was actually on the right back for Patrice Evra, which they probably rested more for the Norwich game, because that is the more important game, if you like, in a wheel bust situation. Lewandowski did well to stay on his feet. That is brilliant from Robin Lewandowski to stay on his feet and slot it past Thomas Sorensen, who is finally beaten by Manchester United. And finally, the knocking on the door has paid off. They've come from behind again, as they do. Look at this piece of brilliance by Robin Lewandowski to stay on his feet. A lot of people would have gone down there. But Robin Lewandowski had the confidence and balance to stay on his feet and beat Sorensen emphatically. Robert Lewandowski, who has missed a few games due to an injury he picked up on his debut, bruised shoulder. Always have kept him out for a couple of games just to make sure, and it looks like that worked. As Lewandowski scores the equaliser and his second goal in the league, instant impact from the new signing, and it's brought United level. Stoke City 1, United 1 as we restart with 13 minutes left on the game clock and uh, let's see if United can move on from this and take the lead they often do and uh, a lucky roll has fallen to, to Walters United clear the lines Oh, the piece of brilliance from Wayne Rooney on the bicycle kick. We definitely have to have a look at that on the replay. It looks brilliant. And as I also staying on his feet. Just United making a habit of uh, fair play, if you if you like. Staying, uh, players staying on their feet under tackles. As we tried to find uh, the approaching Anazai, but uh, no luck there. Look who's back on defense, it's Wayne Rooney, but uh, he's not getting back. There's Edu. There's Walters. Sides crosses finish, there's a complete mix up. And a toe poke, I guess, from Everington. Oh, look at, look at, that is terrible defending by Bertrand and uh, Ferdinand there, a terrible mix up. And United, we're lucky to get away with one there. They did get away with one there. Ferdinand and Bertrand are getting in and shoves away. And it almost cost them very dearly. I had a good goal kick under him there. And as I and almost threaded through, but Josh Key picks it up. And Wendowski goes back after it. And 
behind it. Six and seven at the back again. It's been a common problem for them all season. Some most diabolical defending. I think that was the worst of the bunch though. Ferdinand and Bertra getting in each other's way. Mark Bertra no less, the uh, Barcelona uh, that was brought over. Bertrand's had an interesting few games. He's had a pretty good one, but that was uh, pretty bad. With Rio Ferdinand there, it almost cost United a goal, which would have put them behind going into half time. Looks like it's going to be 1 0, 1 minute of time to, to play. Here's Edu. The official is calling for something. The referee has spied it. Free kick to Stoke, I guess. And uh, Wolf. Is that a head by Wayne Rooney? Quite possibly. I don't think it was intentional though. I think that's why the referee let Rooney off with a bit of a warning, I guess. End of the first half. Manchester United went behind again. And have had mix-ups in defence as well. But they've been the better team. But the scoreboard is against the run of play. Stoke City won, United won. And United need to start finishing and defending. Could they both become a problem here?